Well, talk about hitting the ground running. On March 28th, less than three weeks ago, former conservative federal politician Brian Jean won the leadership of the Wild Rose Party. Ten days after that, an election is called, and we are about two and a half weeks now away from voting on the 5th of May. So who is the man faced with running an election campaign while at the same time rebuilding a party after the defection of its former leader and eight MLAs? Well, Brian Jean himself is here this morning to chat with us. And Brian, uh, we were just talking about this during weather and traffic. You did 10 years of federal politics. You've been in Fort McMurray for decades. For people here in Calgary and southern Alberta, who is Brian Jean? I'm an Albertan. I'm, okay. uh, I'm a lifer here. I yeah. love Alberta, and I'm here as a matter of choice now, and I, I really I love it. I love to fight for the priorities of Albertans. I know that we have five particular priorities we, we want to focus on as a wild rose, and we have a great fiscal plan that we've set out to have balanced budgets by 2017 and make sure we don't raise taxes on people because a vote for wild rose MLA is a vote for lower taxes and making sure that they stick to the priorities that Albertans want. So how, how is it going, uh, to be frank with you, in, in, in not only running an election, you know, a race, trying to win as many seats as possible, but rebuilding a party uh, kind of uh, from, I guess, not the ground up, but kind of mid-level up. I mean, how are things going for you? It's great. Good. We have fantastic candidates yeah. right across the province, and we're very excited to propose positive options. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so today you're in the city of Calgary. Uh, you have one heck of a schedule laid out. I mean, how's your energy level with respect to campaigning right now? I'm excited. It's, yeah. it's great. To, you know, I've watched the momentum start and from four or five people at meetings three, four weeks ago to, you know, last night, 90, 100 people and bigger groups than that. And it seems to be wherever we go that people are interested in, in our positive options and what we can provide to them. They're, they're mad about the taxes. They're mad about the election. This is a $30 million election that Jim Prentice promised not to have during just Nine months ago, he promised not to have it, and here we are uh, breaking the fixed election date that his government brought in, and I think most Albertans want to change. They want to see s some different options and some positive options, and they want us to focus on things, low taxes, balanced budgets, health care, education, fiscal responsibility, and making sure we bring back democracy and accountability to the legislature, because many Albertans, after 44 years, want a different option, want to make sure that Albertans are going to be covered with their priorities, not the government's priorities. Uh, is, is it all that that brought you back? Uh, Absolutely. Because, I mean, some, pe some people, when they leave politics, they're like, okay, I've done that chapter of my life. I'm going to go into private business or whatever it happens to be and consult or whatnot. But you're now back in it, I guess, more locally, provincially, as opposed to out of Ottawa. And right? I get to stay at home. Yeah, okay. I, I want to be in Alberta. Okay. But I will tell you, Ted, you know, the same things that drove me to Ottawa in 2003, 2004, the Liberals' entitlement and all the scandals and things, that's why I'm involved. I've, I'm watching what's happening with the PC government here after 44 years, and they're stagnant. They don't have new ideas, and uh, the bluntness of it is, is that things are being done wrong in Edmonton. They're discarded democracy. They really have, and uh, we want to bring that focus back. We want to make sure that Albertans realize that there are people there that are going to fight for their priorities. What, what would you do if you, Brian Jean, lead the Wild Rose to form a government here in Alberta? What would be the first thing you do as Premier? I'd make sure that we have balanced budgets no tax increases and focus on health care and education and democracy i think those things if you focus on those things because they're so broken health care is forty seven percent of our budget and now we have a new uh, health levy that's been brought in a new health tax by the by the government i just think it's wrong we have eleven point eight billion dollars worth of new taxes that have been brought in fifty nine new taxes taxing mm -hmm. everything from gas to funerals to insurance it's just tax 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 and and we're the only party that if they vote for if they vote for a Wild Rose MLA that won't increase your taxes and we'll make sure that we stick on the priorities of Albertans and that is no tax increase we think it's very very important and we want people to trust us because if, trust is gone if people want to find out more about you or the Wild Rose how do they do that they can go to www.wildrose.ca good yeah, stuff thank absolutely. you for thank you for coming in Brian uh, good to meet you this morning as Pleasure, well Ted. thank you um, uh, good luck the rest of the way I know you got a couple of weeks left so <laughs> it's gonna be fine <laughs> I hope you have a couple of pairs of shoes for beating the campaign trail I do indeed. thanks for coming in this morning it's 751 you're watching breakfast television we're checking in with Mike Yanni now